In our last movie, we looked at some very basic stuff with arrays. How to initialize an array, and how to add an extra variable, and how to print out elements within that array. What if we wanted to find out the number of elements within an array? Now, it may be very obvious in this particular very simple script how many elements we're dealing with. It doesn't take a great leap of mathematics to add four to one. However, as our scripts get more complicated, we may find that it's difficult to keep track or even impossible depending on the way in which our scripts are structured. So we may need to use a piece of Perl script to examine our array and see how many elements that it contains. What we can do is we can set a scalar variable and we could call this num creatures or number of creatures and we're going to simply set that to the number of elements within the creatures array and we can do this very simply like this we're setting the scalar variable and we appear to be setting it to the same as what the array is set to however we can't set the scalar variable to be an array that would break the meaning of the scalar versus the array data types so what Perl does is it tries to convert something meaningful about the array into a scalar context in this case it's going to take the size of the array or the number of elements so if we now try and print the value of num creatures we go over to our command prompt to test that we can see that it's able to pick up the number of creatures in the array by using that particular line of Perl script another thing we might want to do is to use this variable we've created to show say the second to last creature in the array so to do that we can use the creatures array we put a dollar sign before that to show we're referring to one element within it only and we can use square brackets around here and we're going to say num creatures minus two let's take a look at our command prompt and see what that come up, comes up with it's the elephant now let's take a look back now it may seem since we've taken the total number of creatures and used that as the element that we're trying to access within the creatures array that it should go back to the lion the tiger is the last one the elephant is the second last one but if we take two away we get to the lion the reason why this is not happening is that the element that would exist if we were able to access the element num creatures within the creatures array hasn't actually been created yet that's because our array is zero indexed so imagine if we had an array with just one element dog the length of the array would be one but the element that we're able to access will be called zero if we tried to access creatures one we wouldn't get a result let's see what happens if we try to access creatures and the element we're trying to get is the same number as the size of the array if we go back to our script we get nothing that array element has not been set so we don't get any output back we're looking for an element that doesn't exist so that's an important thing to remember as well as it works at both ends of the array as well as the first element being zero the last element is always one less than the length of the array